Mabuhay! We cannot not communicate. Communication is a transmission of ideas, emotions, between or among persons with the use of verbal and nonverbal cues. The word communication comes from the Latin word communis, which means common. Now, to be common means to come together or to share something common together. So communication then helps people to adopt or survive in the place they live in. McCornock in 2014 said that communication is a process of sharing and conveying messages or information from one person to another and that is within and across channels, context, media, and cultures. There is a wide variety of contexts and situations in which communication can be manifested. It can be face-to-face, -face, phone conversation, and virtual classes like this. Looking back, around 200 to 100 BC, messengers do send messages on foot or through horseback ride. And this is common in Egypt and China. In 1450, first newspaper appeared in Europe. December 1, 1846, in the Philippines. La Esperanza, the first daily newspaper, was edited by Felipe Lacorte and Evaristo Calderon. Meanwhile, Joseph Henry invented the first electric telegraph in 1831. First cross-continental telephone then was made in 1914. And in the most recent time, the advancement in the field of electronics has brought about information revolution in the world. What exactly is communication? The most simple definition is that communication is each act of transmitting information. Information in the broader sense of the word, including thoughts, ideas, and emotions. Giving someone a bouquet of flowers is communicating a certain message. And to that gift or verbal compliment, you're pretty, is another separate act of communication. Blushing because you just received flowers and a compliment is again another form of communication. As social animals, we communicate day in, day out with spoken words, nonverbal gestures, signs, and symbols. Sometimes we use media to communicate a message. Media are the channels that we use to communicate. Scholars don't really agree on the definition of the word media. Television, internet, radio, mobile phones, the soapbox we stand on to give a speech. They're all technical media in a way. Things we construct to amplify our communication. In a more broader definition, we can include our hands, voice, and eyes that we all use to communicate somehow in a list of communication channels, of media. In general, however, whenever we discuss mediated communication or the mass media, we only mean the first category. Over the years, scientists from different scientific disciplines have studied these channels of communication and all these different forms that communication can take. The results of their studies have formed the basis of the relatively new science of communication. And even today, many scholars in other disciplines study the exact same communication phenomena as we do. We share theories and models and often use the same methods to analyze and describe our field. It is therefore useful to be aware of how these other disciplines are connected with ours. To get an idea of the different levels of communication and how they are connected to other scientific disciplines, we can look at the so-called pyramid of communication. On the highest level of this pyramid, we find societal communication, which is by its very nature aimed at a large mass audience. Therefore, mainly historians, political scientists, and sociologists study this perspective. Under that is the level of institutional communication, that is performed by political parties, for instance, organized religions, large corporations, and such. Then comes the level of group communication. Groups are audiences that feel a high level of group identification. For instance, a family or a fan club. Both institutional and group communication are in the field of sociology and cultural anthropology. We have now arrived to the level of interpersonal communication. Basically, the communication between two or more people. Both sociologists and psychologists study this field. Finally, there's the level of intrapersonal communication. 
This will be the communication you have with yourself. But this will mean all information processing, thinking, internalizing information and the process of giving meaning to the world around us. And of course this approach means heavily in the discipline of psychology. With all these information, communication then happens all the time, even if we are not saying anything at all.